Hello and welcome to another unboxing review. I'm Haru Rin. Today we are going to be looking at Pyrus Nova Dragonoid Single. Canada just got these in stores, at least in Montreal. They have not showed up in Winnipeg stores yet, but I managed to get this one on Amazon. And this is the perfect timing too, since Bakugan Legends started airing on Netflix today. So previously we have opened up Nova Pegatrix because I brought it back from Texas, but now let's take a look at Nova Dragonoid. As usual, the packaging looks pretty good, but the thing I forgot to mention in my Pegatrix review is that the back has a lot more writing than usual to the point where the sample picture just seems cramped together at the top. Because this product is an electronic toy, they have to put a lot more warnings like safety and all that in every language on the planet. So, let's open this up and take a look. Bakugan? Bakugan stand! So opening this up, because it's a Nova single, it does not come with any Baku cores, it comes with a character card, the toy, and the gate card that I do not care about. Nova Dragonoid is a new mold where it's a lot more thinner and a lot more condensed together than the regular molds, and to be honest, having it in my hands in person it looks kinda ugly shape-wise. Almost like Drago broke his own back or something. The facial features on Drago though looks pretty good, with the eyes very detailed having the legends paint around them like fire. There are manual parts to this Drago, and that's in his arm arms, which can swing forward and backward if you want to close Drago fully, his arms have to be swung back to its wings. The plastic used for Drago is translucent red to account for the LED light that needs to flash around, and as a result we can see all the circuitry and stuff inside him, but that is to be expected. The wings and overall paint job for Drago is still pretty neat. My guess for the reason for this design is because they have to account for fitting the LED board and the electrical circuitry inside for the toy safely. The LED light triggers through the bendable bag and lasts for like 5 seconds, though I wish there was an option on these Nova toys where the LED light can stay on while they're open, or something like that, I guess it's just a result of technical limitations with these toys. My rolling experience with Drago, 90% of the time when Drago opens, he face plants forward, but he still does hold onto the core since he seems to have a strong magnet. Only a couple times was I able to get him to stand up straight, and if Drago is not holding a core when he's standing, yeah, he might fall over. Looking at his character card, Nova Dragonoid has a blue shield, orange shield 506, and on blue shield plus 300, so at best he can reach 1450 B power on his blue shield bonus, which is pretty semi-decent, but definitely would not hold up in a fight against Bakugan that have rune abilities that take away cores, unless you have a reroll. At the very least, Drago has pretty high damage that can extend to 12 for Might Mac builds, but yeah, that is Nova Dragonoid, and toy-wise it's pretty underwhelming. The design is not terrible, but it's not great either. I can definitely see some enjoyment that people can get from opening it because it's the Nova Light, but it is definitely not something that is exactly eye candy. In the pro game, he's only a decent Bakugan reaching past the 1400 threshold, so at least he's balanced enough. So overall, I think I'm going to give this product a 7 out of 10. But what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments down below. And yes, I know some of you are waiting for my review on the first episode of Bakugan Legends since it's been released. And don't worry, it will be out Friday with regular review uploads on Mondays. So be sure to support Bakutok by pressing the thumbs up and enable notifications so you don't miss out on awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye!